Hello everybody and uh, good afternoon. I am back. I have finished my masters um, and now all I'm doing is uh, looking for a job in a pandemic while living with my parents at the grand old age of uh, 26. So um, I thought why not um, get, you know, make another YouTube video about books because that's what I like to do. So um, today I thought I would make a video about um, the books I've pre-ordered for the rest of the year and um, also the ones that I'm thinking of asking Santa for <laughs> uh, for Christmas um, and like having on my Christmas list. So um, I mean it's not really a personalised Christmas, you know, one of those like gift guide things. It's a gift guide that's very tailored towards me but if you're interested in knowing what kind of books that I am excited to read in I guess uh, the last little bit of this year and then early next year this is the video for you. So I'm going to start with the books that I pre-ordered for the rest of this year and um, there are three. Um, so the first one, so but the first one um, is One Life by Megan Rapino. Um, I'm kind of into football, um, especially women's football and uh, Megan Rapino. I'm sure everyone knows who she is. She is one of the star strikers um, on the US women's national team. Um, and also has become quite a face, um, especially in the US media, for um, her activism and uh, she's written an autobiography and it's called One Life and it sounds really good. I'm always kind of like up for a celebrity memoir, especially when they're like a person I admire and um, also she's like, I'm not going to say old enough to have written a memoir, but she's like, it's not like when you get like children writing memoirs when they're in like their 20s they're like how much have you lived like okay um but, but she's in like her mid 30s so I, and i've you know she's been a professional footballer for a while um so i feel like she's got enough to say um so i'm looking forward to that it's out on the 10th of november um and yeah it's number one um, the second one is also out in November, it's at, also out on the 10th of November, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to have to decide which one to read next, first. Um, and that is Written in the Stars by Alexandria Milfleur. Um, this is a um, queer rom-com novel, a uh, female romance, um, that is about a social media astrologer agreeing to a fake relationship with an uptight actuary on New Year's Eve and I was like, excuse me, this sounds so my bag. I'm not usually like a romance person but I really want to get into reading like queer female romance a lot more because it's cute um, and especially like light, really light-hearted stuff um, and yeah this sounds like my bag. It sounds kind of fan fiction -y, so I'm looking forward to it. I did try and get it on Netgalley and they denied me, so sad about that. But um, yeah, I pre-ordered it uh, on ebook, so we'll be very excited about that. I'm not going to stay up till midnight because I don't do really do that. Um, and the last one that I have pre-ordered, which comes out November the 12th, is um, Whites on Race and Other Falsehoods. So this is kind of personal essay, it's not very long, um, it's only 80 pages. And it's like very timely. Um, I, she wrote it um, after like the Black Lives Matter movement kind of went big again earlier this year after George Floyd was murdered. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of about um, how white people who are who think they're dedicated to anti-racism actually also are racist. Um, and I'm interested. I want to read that because I would like to be like I've read a lot of things about anti-racism and I want to be anti-racist but also I probably probably do the things that she thinks well that she knows racist I'm like unlearning you know we're all unlearning things and I'm trying really trying to do that um so I am looking forward to that so I've pre-ordered that and um, she also wrote uh, the little black book which was all about like professional women um, and I enjoyed that when I read it and also she's got another book coming out next year which is about money and I kind of want to read more books about money especially ones centred in the UK um, because the US ones are less relevant but like, mm, like mortgages and like well, I know the stuff about taxes but like 
I don't know that much about anything else. So now I will move on to the books that I will probably ask for for Christmas. Um, starting off with um, Data Feminism. This is a new way of thinking about data science and data ethics that is informed by the ideas of intersectional feminism. So this is kind of like a big book about those things, those concepts. Um, I'm a data scientist um, and very interested in data ethics as well, obviously because you should always consider ethics in all that you do. And especially with data, because there's so much bad stuff happening with data um, across the world and, and you know, got to be informed with that and kind of figuring out if data is something that can ever be used for good. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what that's about and it sounds really interesting and um, also very relevant. Um, the next one, uh, a bit depressing, is American Overdose, The Opioid Tragedy in Three Acts. This is does exactly what it says in the tin. It's all about the opioid epidemic in America and how it was kind of started and how it's uh, ramped up um, and and how like bad it is because it's obviously very bad um and like yeah i've read stuff about the opioid epidemic like i've read news articles and i've like know the background of like how fentanyl was like introduced into the mainstream um via like big pharma and stuff like that which was oof, un terribly terribly bad terribly corrupt um and ru has ruined lots and lots of people's lives um so i'm interested in learning more about that um and also hoping it has some stuff about uh how we can treat addicts better and like uh handle um addiction because i'm very interested in that because it's from what i've read about addiction it seems like it's actually not it's not like a really com there's not a really complicated solution it is just like giving people support and like not forcing them to go cold turkey and kind of legalizing stuff and prescribing stuff that they need um as opposed you know as opposed to like demonizing people for it and yeah, it really annoys me um, that there's such like a class divide between how we treat, I guess, like celebrities and people in the upper classes um, who have addiction problems and then people who are working lower class who have addiction problems. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> there's such a class divide, it's wild. Um, and oh, it's just like help, help people, thank you. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that. And the next one I really want to read is The Fate of Rome, Climate Disease and the End of an Empire. Also does what it says on it. I always like to buy books that um, are very self-explanatory in the title. <laughs> um, so this is a big, well actually it's 440 pages so it's not like a huge huge book considering it's about like the downfall of an empire. Um, the monumental retelling of one of the most consequential chapters of human history, the fall of the Roman Empire. Um, I don't know that much about the Roman Empire, um, I did a bit of it in school, but when I say school I mean like junior school, um, and I think I know more about like ancient Greece than I do ancient Rome, uh, so maybe I need to start earlier than the fall of it, but um, I'm kind of interested in like the climate and disease bit of it, and like how, how that factors in to how it all fell. I guess so I'm I'm interested in that um, and also got great reviews on Goodreads um, yeah and um, the next one um, that I want to read is called uh, I want to believe uh, Possidism UFOs and Apocalypse Communism um, by A.M. Gitlich, Gitlich. Um, so this is all about some kind of weird communist fact faction um in that was i don't know when it mid 20th century that was like supposed to be like revolutionary socialism and it just kind of turned into a, like a cult that was very very bizarre um yeah so an unusual socialist movement uh so and i don't i've never heard of any i have never really heard of it and i saw this book 
on the Houseman's website, I think, or maybe in Houseman's, and I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. Um, I don't know anything about that, and yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, should I get it for Christmas? Um, it's also a green book, and um, I've realised recently that there aren't enough green books. Um, this is a very serious topic. Green is my favourite colour, and my bookcases do not have enough green in them so if you have like recommendations specifically for green books or books with green spines please send them my way um because i really need to balance like it's the fact that i have so many books that are like black and white and then every other color apart from green and then i have my cookbook section which is basically mostly green because it's all like vegetarian and vegan cookbooks so that kind of balances it out, but still, I would like green book recommendations and green books. Uh, speaking of green books, I'm not sure if this spine is green, but I'm hoping it is. Uh, this is The People's History of Tennis. Um, I'm also very into tennis, um, and I don't know that much about it. I know that it's a very privileged uh, upper middle class sport, as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm interested in knowing more about, like, anything that's not that um so i think this has like um struggles around sexuality gender race and class um regarding um tennis and the sports gay origins tennis is really gay um battles for gender equality is also very good in terms of um the grand slams give the men and the women equal um prize money which should be a thing in every sport but it's not um so yeah um i'm looking forward to knowing more about that um i'm hoping it's got some stuff about like venus williams and arthur ash and um like all the all the les billy jean king all the lesbians of tennis um because that's you know what i'm looking for i would like to read that um so that's one of those and then i've just got a couple more that i'm like interested in but maybe like less so which is good because my christmas list can't go on forever because i also really want the vegan chocolate box from hotel chocolat <laughs> so that's number one on my christmas list. um so the next book is um how to write it um this is a book that was published by um Storm stormzy's imprint i think like murky books um and it's all about writing and how to write and I would like to learn more about that because I would like to write some more um, not necessarily poetry um, I think some of this is about poet, poet poems um, but yes I would like to learn more about that and then finally um, a libertarian walks into a bear the utopian plot to liberate an American town this is a book all about a group of libertarians who basically went and set up their own town and it all unraveled from there and it just sounds like really funny um in like like a wild true story a bit like um the disaster artist and bad blood um and yeah there's they're the two that's kind of stand out for me where they're like really funny recollections of true stories that just like how did this happen <laughs> and i i would like to read more books like that because I find them really interesting and really funny. I like funny books. Um, so that is my last book that I would like to read. Um, I will probably either get for Christmas or I will buy myself sometime. Um, so there you go. They are all of my books. Um, obviously they're not really recommendations because I haven't read them. But if you are interested in the same kind of books as I am, then maybe you like the look of those um let me know if you have any books that you really want for christmas i will not be buying them for you but um i'm really interested in knowing and uh also any books that you've pre-ordered um either for the rest of this year or like 2021 so um i guess i will say au revoir um and i will probably see you next week for my uh october wrap-up um yes so Goodbye.